Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Duchess Braze. I am the person behind the voice. If you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. So today we are doing a get ready with me while I explain the five reasons why I closed my salon. So now this video is brought to you guys by Eunice Hair. I'm going to be installing one of their V-part wigs and of course now i'm going through a box of goodies that they sent me and i'm looking at this package weird because i'm like what is this i've never received a robe in my package before this is so unique and different and listen i'm gonna go ahead and put this robe on for this video because it's given so give me one second i'll be back hey <laughs> all right i'm back y'all so i did put the robe on it's really nice it's cute it's bright so I think it'll be fun to wear in this video. So let's move on to the things that they brought me. And then I'm going to get to the stuff that y'all came for. The reasons why I closed my salon. So they did send me a headband. And it's a cute little, you know, uh, cheetah print uh, headband, wig cap. Um, then they sent me like a hairband, which is super neat because I've never seen one come with like a um, Velcro attachment. So that was pretty cool like I normally try to put these things to use so yeah that's a good collection to have they sent me a really nice headband I've seen this multiple times on people's head I mean it's pretty stylish some hair clips and lashes so yeah they sent me a bunch of goodies even um extra clips for the wig so you know to tighten the wig keep the wig tight all that good stuff let me see what else they give me y'all i'm looking they did a good job i like i like what they gave so now let's move on to the wig so this is their v part wig this is their kinky curly 24 inches with 150 percent density wig so guys i will be demonstrating how i get this wig on but also i'm gonna be just talking about why i closed my salon the wig comes with four clips and it comes with extra straps and well five clips and it came with you know know um that thing that sticks in the back it came with to make the wig tighter on your head a bunch of stuff that you know allows the wig to fit well fit great i love the result of the wig even though i just dyed my hair jet black like yesterday <laughs> so even though i did that it still looks great because i did not le have to leave out a whole bunch of hair for this wig i just needed to leave out like a slither of hair to cover the wig so you could barely even see like the color difference so let's move on guys to why i closed the salon and this is a little juicy like i never really talk about my personal stuff but i want to get into vlogging a little bit more and i want to see if you guys really ride with me or vibe with me so here we go so the first reason why i closed my salon was because um first and foremost it wasn't uh generating income like that so it was more of a burden than an income and i'm gonna explain to you guys a little bit further down in the video why it was not um generating income but that is the number one reason like i was putting out more than i was getting back and that's all because of how i structured my business that's all my fault and it has nothing to do with owning a salon so do not let me scare you into opening your own salon if that is your dream go for it girl like just do it it get, definitely gave me a lot of things and i put a lot of my dreams and like everything into the salon so it was a it is a bummer that i closed it however i'm gonna go down the line of the reasons why so number one reason it was not generating any income that's all my fault and not because a shop doesn't generate income all right my second reason why i closed the salon is i was not a boss period listen that word gets thrown around so much nowadays it's like everybody is a boss bitch i'm a boss bitch like i'm a boss 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 like i personally do not use that word that much because i feel like it has so much more meaning and even though i own my own businesses and i you know make good money all that good stuff like to me a boss is like a leader someone that has employees someone that 
can really like go in and take over a company has a bunch of employees and just do their damn thing look good and you know what i mean all that good stuff and i just felt like for me the reason why i feel like i could not be a boss is because i have terrible people management skills i'm completely too nice to people and i let people run over me and listen i'm just being vulnerable right now with you guys it's real like i'm not embarrassed about it it's just something that i've accepted about myself and i just feel like i was super soft with everybody even though i have fired people it literally took chances after chances after chances to even get to that point to let people go so for me i just feel like i just didn't have the strength to like lead people and I just felt like people should know better <laughs> and do better and like I shouldn't have to step in and like control adults and like all that good stuff so that is one of the reasons is that I am terrible at a leadership and you know that i work well alone like that is just my thing like if you see my channel all that stuff like i just work well in my own space and i work well alone and i just don't feel like i should be a leader of people as far as like being their boss and stuff i'm just way too soft and that's something i'm just not willing to work on on myself right now so i'll continue to do my thing alone and grow alone maybe eventually in the future i'm gonna because i have goals to be bigger and better so and i feel like to be bigger and better you have to have a team and you have to grow a team and you know that's gonna uh call for me to lead people so that is a skill i probably will have to work on but for now it just works for me to work alone and not try to like be nobody boss because i'm just not good at it i'm too soft so anyways that is the second reason why i closed my salon is that like i just couldn't control people like i hate telling people what to do and it just made me super uncomfortable and i just feel like you know like they care about me they respect me but at the same time like it was really difficult for me to um really insert myself and be a leader all right the third reason why i closed the salon is because the visions didn't align like with me having people controlling problems and like i had this amazing vision for the salon when i opened it like you know like the vision that i had was just a nice clean luxury salon that like people love to come to and it was just like the top of the line like braid salon in Virginia type stuff and you know I wanted everybody to be clean cut come in do their job clean space all that good stuff and I just feel like with the lack of leadership skill and lack, lack of being a boss like I kind of let that diminish because in order to get your vision to align with other people, you kind of got to insert that vision. You got to be insertive, like assertive to them so that they get on, get in line and get on the same page as you. But if they don't know your vision, if you're not vocalizing that, you kind of, you know what I mean? We're, you're going to be on different pages. So our visions didn't align with the people and I was tired of rotating people out or people rotating out. And I feel like they came with expectations of me. And, you know, I, I had been burnt so many times that I wasn't giving them what they they wanted. And also, like, I'm tired of people using me. So I don't feel like I was wrong for not giving them what they wanted to come eat off me. And I didn't allow that. I feel like a lot of bosses that I see run their business, they just kind of run it. And you know what I mean? I'm not here to, I'm here to build your clientele and that all that stuff, but I'm not here to build your social media and, and do things for you. Like you do that, put that work in yourself. I had to put that work in myself. So I just feel like people should do that themselves. And yes, I will help you when it comes to like giving you a shout out so that clientele rotates to the salon. But I'm not here to keep you on my social media 24-7 so you can build your shit, leave, and like, you know what I mean, try to shit on me. So anyways, I want everybody to win, but I just feel like people also got to put that work in. And people wasn't doing that. They was just trying to come, feed off me, and bounce. So anyways, the vision did not align. That was my third reason. So the fourth reason was... I lost with everything, you know, encompassing like the business, um, 
not generating income, me not being having a leadership mentality or a boss mentality, and then the vision didn't align. I lost the love for my business. Like I lost the love for the salon. I stopped going. Like after I had my baby, I completely like, you know, stopped going. Then COVID happened. Like a, a whole bunch of reasons why I stopped going. And then like, you know what I mean? Like business started taking off on the social media end of things so i was more focused on that so i completely abandoned the salon like i i had two girls in there they did a great job they held it down but like i never checked in as much like i just left left it <laughs> i just really just left it and you know what i mean when you find no love in something anymore it's hard to like go back to it and it's hard to you know, it's just hard to like find the love and you have so much bridges burnt and all that stuff with it. So I basically lost the love for the salon. So that's my fourth reason. And my last and final reason is I just didn't need it anymore. I didn't need the salon to do what I do. Like I was, I'm booming on like my YouTube, I'm booming on Facebook, you know, like my products are selling crazy. My courses are selling crazy. So all that stuff like and overall y'all i've always told my husband <laughs> i want to have a job where i could be at home he just didn't believe me like i'm like i want to make really good money just being at home with my kids not having to do a lot of work that's really my dream like i want a whole bunch of money by not doing much at all and that's literally what i'm doing and I, i've basically manifested that into my life because that's literally what i do i i do some work at home i do some hair all that good stuff i pro like push promotion email notification all that good stuff and i make good money from just being at home every day and most of the work that i do is probably takes me overall five hours in a span of a week and you know that still generates so much and this was my dream from the get it wasn't my dream was never to be in a salon on my feet for the rest of my life like i knew when i opened that i wasn't gonna stay there long so basically i didn't need it anymore it didn't fit in my life or my lifestyle it just wasn't working and all those reasons came together and i was just like you know what i'm gonna sell the salon and it ended up being a great transition because the girls that were already in the salon holding it down they went ahead and purchased it and now like i'm free from it you know they can do what they want they're gonna change it up put their own touch in it and yeah everything's gonna work out so anyways guys this is the five reasons why i closed my salon and also this is the final look of the week i don't know if y'all was watching i hope y'all were but this looks absolutely amazing i love this texture on me because it just looks so real like it looks like my hair i could just go out you know put you know do it like how i did it just go out and look cute and the clips are holding it down nice and tight yeah i absolutely love this wig and this is from eunice hair this is their 24 inch kinky curly v part wig i only have like a slither of leave out for this wig and i, I went ahead and wet my hair and got it done so i hope you guys tuned in and were listening to me i know you are probably used to a talking head but this is what i got for you guys i love this wig go ahead description all the info is in the description